Jason, because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, you're still my best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from deep within the planet Earth, it's Jason and Friends. Join Jason as he welcomes his good friend, Patrick Thompson. And now with his faithful compadre, Kelsey, here he is, Jason Eric Mumo. Well, hey everybody, welcome to Jason and Friends. My name is Jason Eric Mumo. We're so glad you're with us here today. And joining me once again is my great friend, Kelsey Zummer. Kelsey, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, you know, I had an opportunity over the summer. We just starting back up the season. Last season, last show we had last week, good, great show. We're glad to be back. Yep. But I got, had the opportunity to meet one of the greats, a great celebrity. Have you ever met, who's the most famous person you've ever met? Um, that would probably be Gail Sayers. Oh. I actually did a, a, a spot with him, a PSA. And so arguably the greatest running back of all time. Now was he Chicago ability. Bears? Bears, yep. Notre Dame too? Did he play Notre Dame? No. No, okay. No. But you got you got to do a shoot with him? Yeah, uh, he was doing a, a spot on something called tinnitus. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Yes, and he knows all about it. And yeah. Great he guy. He, very good. Very yeah. driven. Uh, if if he messed up and you said good job, he's like, no, it wasn't. You're not going <laughs> to use it, are you? And I'm like, it's not. A, so very much a, right. a driven perfectionist. So, right. Yeah. Well, I got to meet the legendary, the one, the only Pat Boone. Everybody. Yeah. So y'all can just, you know, I don't care about who you all meet. I met Pat Boone. Wow. We got to go out to Ship Shawana. Yep. And he was putting a concert on out there. He's on his uh, last uh, trip around the country, doing like his farewell Every tour. Very nice guy. Great show. He showed a lot of the old clips and everything. I got my picture taken with him. Was able to go backstage. My wife just loved him, yep. and uh, so it was very nice. I just thought it was funny is that we were truly the youngest people in, in the crowd. Yeah. But uh, it was something else. He was a nice guy. So there's my brush with greatness. And may I have some other ones that I have, but we'll get to some of those in later. You shows. said his last trip around the. Yeah, it's his is final he, tour. Is he preparing for 2012, the end of the world? I think so. He knows okay. that the end just, of the world's coming. Yeah. And, but, uh, uh oh. They're tell, telling me this again. Seriously, we got breaking news coming in. Okay, I, I never know what these are, but uh, apparently we have a guy standing by. You out there, sir? Yes, Jason, we're here. We wanted to let you know about some significant changes in the weather patterns over the last few weeks. As you've probably noticed, days are getting significantly shorter. It is getting dark sooner and temperatures are dropping dramatically. But experts are telling us that this is a normal change and you should not be alarmed. That's just stupid. It's, it's fall. That's all it is. It's autumn. The seasons have changed. They've been changing since the beginning of time. There is no need to alarm people. That's right, Jason. That's why experts are telling us to be very careful and, and take the precautions needed to stay safe. As you notice, if you look around, many of the trees that were once lush, green, uh, uh, veget displays of vegetation are now barren or changing colors. And, and in fact, many of them are even, they're even dying. Back to you in the studio, monkey nuts. Jeez, what's his problem? I don't know. I mean, maybe he didn't like the way you were treating him. Right. Is it just me, though? I mean, it's just fall, right? As far as I know. Yeah. yeah. I think he's on meth or something out there. I, don't do meth. <laughs> right. Don't do that. That's, don't, the, that's public. Yeah. Gail Sayre says that, PSA, doesn't he? say don't do meth. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is a new segment I wanted to start. Okay. Um, website of the night. Kansas Barbed Wire Museum in La Crosse, Kansas. So wow. look at this website here. They got the barbed wire in the background. Look at the facility there. That's it's very nice. Spectacular. So if you need to know anything about barbed wire, they got the history of barbed wire, the barbed wire, the early years. Mm -hmm. uh, are you fascinated with barbed wire? I, I only care for the movie. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if they have any pictures from the, the Pamela Anderson movie. <laughs> it's yeah. probably not, but it's where, you know, the Around the Arm Tat started, so. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, and let's see, they have hours and fees. Oh, let's see. No admission fees. Wow, Very how nice. do they survive? Um, they're, they're open, they have summer hours, but summer's over, but yeah, donations requested, though. 
So if you're looking for all things barbed wire, uh, we're going to bring this to you maybe once every other week or so, but that's the website of the night. That is the Kansas Barbed Wire Museum, so check sweet, them out. Sweet. So they're going to raise their, we're going to jam the servers for yeah, them. Yeah, they might crash. <laughs> if you have some extra money laying around, you know, uh, make a donation. Exactly. Um, and now, you know how popular crime is. People love to go out and do crime and have fun with crime and stuff like that yeah. and do things. It's and a great fad. And usually they have to disguise themselves like a ski mask yep. or a stocking thing, but yep. sometimes the, the crooks get a little... Uh, you know, they get a little creative with their... Oh, yeah. Mask. So tonight we're going to take a look at some horrible robbery disguises. And as you can see here on the first one here, probably not the smartest one. The permanent marker kind of is really going to... Uh, You're going to have to stay off. stay out of out of sight for a while for that to wear off. Huh? Yeah, so those guys not too bright. This guy here, I don't, I don't know. He was probably on meth, too, and Gail Sayers says don't do meth. Don't do meth. But he's using a furnace filter as his disguise. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, no, you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, do you have a description of the, the gentleman? <laughs> oh, he had a furnace filter. Furnace for this guy. Is Santa Claus? Yeah, that's a popular yeah, one. Look I think. at his gun, though. Yeah, I thought it would be like candy stripes. Is he a seasonal robber? Yeah. So he's you know, got to pay the L. Times are tough. Ugh. Duct tape. That would still hurt coming off there. <laughs> he doesn't look like he doesn't look shape. good. Right like now. he got caught. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, this guy, Darth Vader, Robin. Uh -huh. What? Well, I'm confused. What's the guy doing in the background back there? Is that Lando? Uh, it could be. And then why is Darth Vader using a gun? What? If he's gonna rob it, he's gonna strike up the lightsaber. And... He shouldn't even need that. Use the force. Oh yeah, know? he could do that. Yeah. Thing and choke him and everything. Yeah. All right. Make this, the money float. This one here, I <laughs> I just used a tree like. Our tree back here. Right. You know. So you have everything you need. Yeah, right. Yeah. Very interesting. Where is that guy from laughing? Uh, these guys, they just put thongs on their face. <laughs> hey, let's go down to 7 Eleven and get some free stuff. Maybe, yeah, that, maybe that was part of their honeydew list and that's what they gave them. Right. <laughs> I've noticed that all my impressions are the same guy. Is it? Yeah, there's this guy right here. <laughs> I don't know. Here's. Oh. Not only is it Elvis, because you're going to be shy, be like, hey, Elvis is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be like, thank you very much. Uh, I got a uh, hunk of burning love cash or something. <laughs> Give me some money. Yeah. But he looks like a zombie Elvis. Well, yeah. if Elvis were around now, he'd be a zombie. Yeah. And then uh, this guy here, <laughs> I love this. He just went in and <laughs> covered his face with his hands. Now that's, you know, he needs money to buy a costume. Right, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know about the hands one. And then this guy just walking through the kitchen, grabbed a dish towel and said, okay, <laughs> here we go. And then finally here, Gumby. Oh, Gumby. Yeah, you're just gonna be happy <laughs> Gumby's coming in. Hey! And then Gumby pulls a, a gun on you and robs your store. That's terrible. So there you are, there are some of the horrible robbery disguises. We hope you enjoyed that. And uh, speaking of Gumby, he is on assignment right now. Our guest last week, Matthew Deitchley, he is in Myrtle Beach. So we gave him Gumby, and uh, him and Gumby are on an adventure, and he's going to come back with a report. But I do feel bad for Pokey this week. He's, uh, you know, he's a little sad that Gumby's gone, and he's yep. going to miss him. So we're going to think about sending Pokey out and uh, have his own adventure too. So now I'm sure you guys are wondering about the opening of the show this week and what exactly we were doing there. And I think the web clip of the week is going to explain it for you. So here, take a look at this. Yeah, I'm recording. Because I know, somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Jason and Friends, and I hope that web clip of the week made sense to you, or in some way, with our opening for the show. Either way, that guy has a problem with crying, but I am so thrilled that I have my guest here with me today, a new friend of mine, Patrick Thompson. How are you doing, Patrick? I, I am doing well. What did you think about that clip? Did that make sense for you now? You're probably wondering what we were doing at the very top of the show. I still am. It, still, it was interesting. Yeah, it still doesn't make sense, but it's still fun to watch or something yeah. like that. 
Now, I think uh, we were talking about this. I think you're the youngest person to be on the show. How old are you? 20. So you were born in like 2004 or something like that, 1997. Close. Close. What year were you born? 91. 91. Mm -hmm. I was a year out of high school. Man, you're just a puppet. You look nice, though. You wore the tie. You spiffed it up. You. you got the tie clip on there and everything. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing well. All right. Well, I know you're working in broadcasting now. We all love broadcasting. It's fun. Of course. Why are you, why'd you get into broadcasting? Uh, I, I, it always looked interesting. I was always curious about the behind the scenes of, of the newscast. And right. So, yeah, I, was like, I, always, I always loved watching the behind the scenes. When Every time I saw behind the scenes, I was like, oh, I want to watch it. Right. You're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What were some of your favorite shows growing up? Um, growing up, yeah, Star Trek. Star Trek mm -hmm. with the Kirk, Spock, and everything. No, Picard. See, that's what I'm talking about. You're like up just 20 years old. That's nothing. Well, that was made in like late 80s to right. Early I'm 90s. Right. I'm talking about Mash. I'm talking about Dick Van Dyke, The Honeymooners. I love Lucy. All those type of shows. I love Little Lucy. Rascals. Yeah, I've seen that. See? Okay. What's one of your best favorite shows on TV right now? Right now, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, with Doogie Howser, the guy on there. You probably don't even know who that is. Nope. Oh, man. I guess I'm just showing my age, aren't I? Um, you know, I did come up with something this week, though, because I knew you were going to be on. You're going to be young. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came across this article called 25 Things Kids Today Will Never, Ever Have to Use. <laughs> and so I'm looking at some of these here. A VCR. I have a VCR. You probably, but remember the Be Kind Rewind? Yes, I remember that. You're probably Wasn't there a movie that. out that came out? Well, Be Kind Rewind? Oh, I think so. With yeah. Jack Black? Yeah. And then uh, prank calling people. You probably never prank called anybody. I did when I was 10. I prank called 911. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> did they catch you? Did they call you back? Yeah, they and called back and told us mm -hmm. that was that was yeah. yeah, wow. <laughs> they probably hauled you off right there. So I probably never prank called again. You can't prank call anymore. You got caller ID. Caller ID. Yeah. Everybody's got it on their phones and everything. Uh, blowing on a cartridge. I have a Nintendo. I have a Nintendo. Right I think, Nintendo. yeah, the kids still do that here, but I think that's going to be gone before too long. <laughs> <laughs> And then they get the cartridge out. Be type of drug <laughs> soon. What? Be type of drug soon. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they're, they're snorting them there. Uh, writing in cursive. Did you have to learn cursive? I in actually school? never learned cursive. It's a it's a beautiful language. It's a beautiful artwork of. My handwriting sucks anyway, so. Yeah. Typing is just the way it be. Dodgeball. Did you play dodgeball? I played dodgeball. I don't think that's going away. I think dodgeball is around for the ages. Now Red Rover. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I'm that's playing that. Making a mixtape on a cassette tape where you know you. you Get your, get your, no. you know, your hot young lady, that your lady friend. You're gonna put some Jodeci or something. I, I made a mixtape for my mom. Does that count? <laughs> I am old, learner. <laughs> Jodeci, <laughs> boys to men. No. Uh, the only reason I know that is because of uh, uh, that show that's on right now, the host or oh, the, the yeah. judge. Yeah, old cartoons. You know, those were the best. Arcades. Nobody, mm. I don't even think they have arcades. You probably never went to an arcade. Our local mall has a arcade. Does it really? Concord Mall, yeah. yeah. But they're going, they're going away. Now, music on MTV, and yeah. I know you've never seen music on MTV. That's, now it's full of drama. Yeah, using a phone book? I have used a phone book. I still do. Yes. Um, the dial-up sound on the internet. The I've had DSL for as long as I remember. Yeah, DSL. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Using film. You probably, mm. have you, you ever have to have a the little roll of film and take it in and get it developed and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. my parents weren't that far in advance. We still right. had. Right. Now, going back to that mixing tape, you know, how I said you're going to make one for you. You got a girlfriend? No. No? What are you looking for in a girl? Well, she's got to be interested That's, in. She's got to be a female. Yeah. First. yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, she has to at least act like she's interested in what I'm talking about. Right. Because half the stuff I say isn't interesting. All right, are you a romantic guy, and flowers and all that, and making a mixtape? Yeah, I'm romantic. My, yeah. my one girlfriend, yeah, I had, we had, I had set up this nice date. But, yeah. yeah. So I'm romantic. All right. Yeah. You hear the music? Yeah. All right. Anyway. Is this an advertisement? Uh, no, I don't yeah. think so. Um, actually needing a watch. I still like wearing watches. Yeah. But most of them are on the cell phones now, yeah, but you probably never wore one of those. Changing the channel, I know you've never done this, where nope. you actually got up and had to do one of these numbers. Nope, that's, that's been going for a while, but I used to have to do it. Um, actually memorizing a phone number. I do memorize phone numbers. I'm good with numbers. Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you know my phone number? I've Don't never... give it out here because I'll get slammed with like two calls. Uh, going out and being off the grid. I remember you'd go out, you'd have to leave a note for your mom or... 
say, and you know, I'm down at Billy's house. I actually never had to do that either. Yeah, <laughs> see? And flip phones, what else? Uh, Napster, uh, that's getting too. But yeah, see how young you are? Isn't that crazy? I'm pretty young. Yeah. I'll be 21 next year. 21. Isn't that when you start getting old? Yes, it's all downhill after that. So, all right, well, that's all the time we have for Jason and Friends. Patrick, thank you very much for coming and being on. Again, you look fun. sharp and you're just a pup and everything, but I do have some advice for you this week. Remember, math is good and meth is bad. Good night, everybody. See ya. Portions of Jason and Friends have been brought to you by General Tom Foolery. For all your foolery needs, that's GeneralTomFoolery.com. And by Jimmy's Discount Deals, located in Mishawaka, and by Rumor Has It in Niles, Michigan. I just had to tell you, <laughs> you're still my best friend. <laughs>